What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to locate and plot decimals on the number line. All right. So first example, let's say we were asked to plot the point 0 0.4. How would you do that? Well, a good starting point is just trying to figure out what two whole numbers you're between. So the way you can do that is just look at your whole number that you have right here. So in this case, it's just a zero and add one to it. Okay, so what's zero plus one? Well, that's just equal to one, right? So I know I'm gonna be somewhere between zero and one on the number line. Okay, so that at least gives me a starting point. So let's do that. So we're gonna be somewhere between zero and one. Okay, great. Now what's the next step? Well, all you have to do is look at your decimal number right here and figure out which place value it is in. So this four right here is in the tenths place, right? Or in other words, the tenths place, right? Just two different ways of writing it. So why is that important? Well, because this number right here, the tenths or the 10 right here, tells you how many even spaces you have to split this number line up into, okay? So that means I have to have 10 even spaces between zero and one. So in order to draw, 10 even spaces, I have to draw nine hash marks, okay? And I have to space them evenly. So we would do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So look, I have one space here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so I have 10 even spaces. Okay, now the last step is just plotting your point, okay? And that simply comes from your decimal number here. So we have a four right here, so we're gonna move four spaces. Okay, so we're gonna start here and then we're gonna move over four. One, two, three, four. Boom, right there. This spot right here is 0 0.4. Okay, so hopefully that wasn't too bad, right? Let's try another one. Okay, next example. Let's say you were asked to plot the decimal 0 0.04. How would you do this? Well, again, a good starting point is just starting with the whole number. So again, we have a zero right here. So you would just add one to it. So zero plus one is just equal to one, right? So I know I'm gonna be somewhere between zero and one, okay? So let's start there at least. So I'm gonna be between zero and one. Okay, so now how many little tick marks do I have to draw on this? Well, that's going to come from whatever place value your decimal ends in. So this is the tenths place, this is the hundredths place, and that's where it ends, right? It doesn't keep going. So since we ended right here in the hundredths place, that means I have to draw 100 little tick marks. Okay, so I split it up into 100 little tick marks. Now the last step is just taking this number, so 0, 4, or in other words, it's just 4, and that's how many spaces we're going to move over. So we're going to start at 0, and then we're going to move over 4 spaces. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Boom, right there. That is 0 0.04. Now, it'd obviously be kind of ridiculous if you really had to sit here and draw 100 little tick marks, right? So a much faster way of doing that is instead of drawing 100 of them, draw 10 of them, okay? Because if I just drew one, let's say here, 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 here. Can you see I basically split it up into tens? So this would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then 100, right? Or in other words, just one. So if I'm counting by tenths, the proper way of writing that as a decimal would be by counting by tenths. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 7, 8, 9, and then this would be 1.0. Or again, just 1. Okay, now if we went back to our original problem, 0 0.04, where would I plot this? Well, you would know you'd have to be somewhere between zero and 10 or one tenth, right? Because we're only moving over four spaces. 
And if this right here is 10 spaces, it, then four spaces would obviously have to be between here and here, right? So instead of drawing all these little blue tick marks, what I could have done is just drawn these that go by tens, right? And then draw 10 like I did inside of here, right? And then again, I would just move over four spaces. One, two, three, four, and I'd land right there. So let me give you another example. So instead of 0 0.4, let's say we had 0 0.37, okay? So I could draw 100 little tick marks and moved over 37 times, I would land on this spot right here, okay? Or the other thing I could do is again, just draw the tenths, right? Okay, and then you could come back to your problem up here and say, okay, 0 0.37. So 0.37 is gonna be somewhere between 0.3 and 0.4. Or you could think of it as 37 is somewhere between 30 and 40, right? And then knowing that, you could say, okay, I just have to draw my little tick marks in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have 10 even spaces, and then I just have to move over seven times, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's where you would land. So hopefully that made sense. Let's try one more. Okay, this time we're gonna plot the decimal 3.86. Okay, so again, I'm gonna just look at my whole number right here. 3, and I'm going to add 1 to it, so 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So I know I'm going to be somewhere between 3 and 4, right? So we're going to be somewhere between 3 and 4. Okay, what's the next step? Now we have to see what place value our decimal ends in, okay? So this one ends in, let's see, tenths, hundredths, it ends right there. Ends in the hundredths place, okay? So that means I have to split this up into a hundred little pieces. But again, that takes too long, right? So instead, I'm gonna just count by tens. So I'll put, so I'm gonna split it up into 10 pieces instead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay? So remember, this represents counting by tens. So if I wanted to label these, this would be 3.10, this would be 3.20, 3 3.30, 3.40, 3.50, 3.60, 3.70, 3.80, 3.90, and then this would be 4.00, or just 4. Okay, now all we have to do is plot our point, right? So here we have the number 86. So if we had drawn the 100 little tick marks, You'd start at three and then you would move over 86 little marks, okay? The easier way to do this is saying, okay, so I have 86 here. So I know I'm gonna be somewhere between 80 and 90, right? So I'm gonna draw 10 little tick marks between those numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I'm gonna draw nine actually to make 10 even pieces. Okay, and where am I plotting this exactly? Well, I'm gonna start at 80 right here, and then I have to land on 86, right? So I'm gonna move over six times. So this is 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, right there. That spot right there is 3.86. All right, guys, so that's how you locate and plot decimals on the number line. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. But if you still got any questions, definitely leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Also, there's a playlist attached at the end of the video. So if there's any other topics you need to check out, definitely check those out and I'll see you there.